We did it, my friends. We hit 100,000 subscribers on the Gotham Chess YouTube channel. It's absolutely crazy to me that five months ago in May of 2020, I started making videos consistently on this channel and had about 1,000 subscribers at the very beginning. I can't thank you all enough for all of your support through all this, uh, and I hope to just continue entertaining and educating you uh, as the channel grows bigger and bigger. To celebrate 100,000, I'm launching a compilation of my best chess impressions. Let me know your favorite or your least favorite in the comments below, and also let me know how you say cheers in your language. So, cheers to 100,000, and let's get to the good stuff. You know, it's pretty crazy that I spent my whole life from Soviet Union playing chess, trying to popularize it, but in the span of like three months, some random skinny guy from Montreal, Quebec, you know, uh, who play Gorilla character in Overwatch, he make it more famous than me. This is probably the most complicated endgame between two grandmasters I have ever seen. There is a queen in a rook versus a queen in a rook and both sides have pawns coming down the other side of the board. Black plays rook to c8 and how do you stop this pawn? I'm not so sure. Okay, they are repeating now and if you take this pawn is promoting so probably you have to repeat. But now queen to e6 and you are simply losing the rook. He is losing the rook and now he's lost the queen as well. And that's the end of the game! Wow! Complete collapse from white! Chess is a game of unlimited beauty. But it's not just checks and attacks. You have to be creative. Well, that must be a world record. Thanks for the fat 10 gifted subs, Pikachu. My is throbbing! Throbbing! You know, vulgarity aside, Charlie's energy was exhilarating. It reminded me of the Olympiad in the 80s, early 80s it must have been, when we won a crucial round and all went streaking and skinny dipping at the jacuzzi. It was, it was such a blast. All right, you guys, let's do some puzzles. So we have rook down, rook takes, rook check made, queen takes, free knight check made, rook takes, rook, and rook takes, rook, that's give a mate, give a check, take the rook, give a check, give a mate, and the queen kid comes down, give a mate, rook down, rook down, take the free juicer, move the king up one square, queen c8, queen takes, bishop check mate, we have queen takes d5, rook takes d2, rook takes d1, rook a check mate. No, but you know, uh, candidates tournament being cancelled is, uh, is is actually not not such a bad thing. I mean, I get to spend time with my family, but of course, you know, when when uh, it comes back, I will be doing some serious preparation, and uh, I think that includes doing lots of checkmate patterns and, you know, practicing uh, to the best of my ability. This game that I'm watching is completely crazy. One side, extra piece, two bishops, two knights, but king in the center. Not solid. And after F3, very serious, very dangerous position for black. Because G5, we have takes, takes, and rook takes. And now queen, pawn, and rook coming. Very suspicious position. If you want to become a master of chess, you've got to be good at your end games. And in this position between two very, very strong players on chess.com, White's got a clear advantage because of the rook, the activity, and the targets, as well as the black rook being glued to the b6 pawn. I don't know if black can really hold this, given the time situation and white having a lot of an easier game to play. Bing, bang, pow, bi- no. But what if I go here? Takes and then I come with the bishop. Bing, bang, pow. Well, definitely, uh, I would say that uh, the year has been pretty tough. Uh, I definitely didn't expect to be spending so much time uh, sitting at home. Obviously, it's no surprise. Uh, it's no secret that my best strengths are in classical uh, rather than online uh, and rapid and blitz in particular. So I was really looking forward to uh, becoming world number one this year because Magnus is overrated anyway uh, and uh, frankly overhyped and I look forward to proving that uh, once I win the candidates uh, and then defeat him uh, in a rematch. So today I tried something new for the first time because life is short and so I tried to play four player chess but this is absolute disgusting. I thought chess was already difficult with two players but 
With four on board of so many colors, I mean, I'm going to go into some sort of epileptic shock or something. This is gross, and if you are good at this, then you are probably serial killer. So here Black's position looks pretty good. He's up one juicer. He's got h2 and h1 coming. Queen takes and queen here is a check. But what if we give a check then king goes to e6? Probably we go queen to d5. If king d7 or king to e7, we have rook a7. We also have bishop g5 and then if f6, rook a7. If we play rook a7, bishop c7, rook c7. If the king's on d7, then bishop c7 is impossible. And then if king to f8, we don't have queen f7 made because the queen is covering, but we have queen to a8. Bishop b8 only move in blocks. And if the king goes to any of the other squares, it's kind of the same story. So the move is queen g5 queen d5 rook a7 and that's the solution for me online is is very difficult because i'm not so good with this this mouse i need increment always i cannot play 30 seconds if even one minute is too 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 slow I, I'm very looking forward to to tournaments coming back because I I need to to go to to see my friends and people I know faces. I cannot stare at the screen all day. It's just impossible. Of course, one of the main reasons that I stepped away from the game of chess because I was uh, obviously uh, frustrated uh, with the development of, of computers and uh, the fact that. Uh, Anybody and, and their best friend could uh, have access to to, to top uh, secret information that uh, you know, back in the day uh, simply w wasn't uh, so widespread. Uh, and of course, uh, second reason is I want to get into politics and uh, take on the Russian regime, specifically Putin. But now, any 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 nine-year-old uh, with, with stockfish is uh, frankly more dangerous than uh, Vladimir Putin. So I don't know uh, what's on the horizon for chess, but. Uh, it doesn't look so great. So today I'm trying this new variant of chess called uh, Fog of War or something like this. It's uh, basically you do not see your opponent's pieces at all. But frankly at my age I'm already not seeing their pieces anyway. Even when I when I am looking right at them. So pretty complicated version. Uh, and as the kids say I, I definitely am feeling pretty poggers about this one. Hello everyone. What am I saying? That's just a free night. That's free, right? What? That's just that's just trash, dude. I, I, I mean, I mean, what, 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 what do they want me to do, dude? They give me, they, they give me the free juicer. I'm going to take it, dude. But to be completely honest, probably the worst part of this pandemic and the fact that we are all stuck at home is. Idiots like Levi Rosman or Gotham Chess uh, are able to create some sort of audience because frankly this, this guy is just absolutely terrible and he, is, he should not be making any content. Well, I hope you enjoyed all of that. Let me know, as I said in the introduction in the comments below, what your favorite impression was and which ones I might have missed that you'd like me to try and practice. These are the ones that I think are pretty much my best. There's obviously others that I can do outside of the chess world, but yeah, uh, and once again, cheers to 100,000, and you know, hopefully we make another one of these videos pretty soon as we chase the next play button. Probably the next video that I'll make is the unboxing of the YouTube silver play button that they send you when you hit 100k. All right, guys, have a good night. I'll see you in the next video.